Thing one tonight, one hallmark of the Trump era isn't just lies. It's obvious, egregious, in-your-face lies, ones that are then later lied about to cover up the first lie. The man President Trump named as UN, U.S. Ambassador to Netherlands, the former Michigan Congressman Pete Hoekstra, falls right in line with that ethos. The Dutch were already unhappy with the choice because of Hoekstra's history of Islamophobia. And here he is in an interview with a Dutch journalist just 10 days after he was sworn in as ambassador. Speaking of threat, at one point you mentioned in a uh, debate that there are no-go zones in the Netherlands and that cars and politicians are being set on fire in the Netherlands. I didn't say that. That, that, that is actually an incorrect statement. Um, yeah. yeah, we would call it fake news. Is that uh, fake I never news? said because that. Because it's what but, you but I, said. No, it's not what I said. Now, can you imagine if, uh, I don't know, um, let's say the Dutch journalist came prepared with video of the ambassador saying exact the, those words? That's thing two in 60 seconds. So a funny thing happened when the U.S. ambassador to the Netherlands, Pete Hoekstra, denied saying a thing that he actually said. Here's the full exchange with Dutch journalist Wouter Zwart. Speaking of threat, at one point you mentioned in a uh, debate that there are no-go zones in the Netherlands and that cars and politicians are being set on fire in the Netherlands. I didn't say that. That, that, that is actually an incorrect statement. Um, yeah. yeah, we would call it fake news. Is that uh, fake I never news? said that. Because it's what but, you but literally I, said. No, it's not what I said. The Islamic movement has now gotten to a point where they have put Europe into chaos. Chaos in the Netherlands, there are cars uh, being burned, there are politicians that are being burned, and yes, there are no-go zones in the Netherlands. You call it uh, fake news, obviously. I didn't call that fake news. I didn't use the word this today. No? No. Okay. I don't think I did. Okay. Well, I think. <clears throat> Do you see that? You see the moment where the brain of this poor Dutch journalist is broken by the sheer insane bad faith of the Trumpian method? I didn't call that fake news. He just called it fake news. A reminder of what Hoekstra said just moments before. And that cars and politicians are being set on fire in the Netherlands. I didn't say that. That, that, that is actually an incorrect statement. Um, yeah. yeah, we would call it fake news. That created headlines in the Netherlands like this one. New Trump ambassador to the Netherlands, Pete Hoekstra, lies about his own lies. Hoekstra has since apologized in a statement for certain remarks he made in 2015 and for the exchange with the Dutch journalists. So for the record, less than two weeks into his new job representing our country in the Netherlands, Hoekstra has apologized for his lie and for his lie about that lie. <laughs> Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.